Aw, oh, hell yeah, let's go. Check it. Yo, I hit the jewel, I got some goals. I sold a little weed, but I could never sell my soul. And when I'm in LA, you find me out in little soap. Come up, I'll go with my ramen, I'ma need another blow. Let's go. Hey, what's up everyone, it's Evan here. At the end of the last Death Battle episode, they announced that Shadow will be fighting Ryuko from Killer Kill. Shadow is coming back for the third time, Ryuko is a newcomer. I'm so excited, I love Killer Kill and the Sonic franchise is one of my favourite franchises of all time. But, at the end of the day, who wins? And that's what I'm here to find out. So I'll be looking through these characters' weapons, armour and skills to find out who would win a Death Battle or who I think would win the death battle. So yeah, let's get into it. Now, by first glance, it does look like Ryuko does have the uh, high ground when it comes to strength. She's able to cut through multiple buildings at once and able to take on city level foes by herself without Sanketa's help. This will make her at least a city level to multi-city level and possibly even mountain level at her max potential without any uh, uh, transformations. And in her final form, Sanket's Kizaragi is able to reach up to moon level calculations with her attacks, possibly even planet level. But I won't leave Shadow out just yet. Shadow is comparable to Sonic who has taken on multiple planet level threats in the past in super or base form. He is also as far a uh, infinite who is able to create stars. Now, yes, Sonic did have help at the time, but if Shadow is only as half as Sonic, you would still be above Ryuko in terms of strength. <laughs> now, for these two characters, they have fought opponents who are about equal in them in both strength and durability. For Ryuko will be Sasuke who is her equal and has both heads constantly with her and she'll be at least comparable. And for Shadow he should be equal to Sonic who he has defeated in the past before and has taken on the same foes as Sonic. Gee, I wonder who wins in this category. To put it bluntly, Shadow is just much more faster than Ryuko. Ryuko is able to just reach light speed, able to reach space in seconds, but Shadow has a uh, Fafo, so he can move at light speed, able to attack at light speed, and in his super form, he moves much faster than before. At first glance, Ryuko does look like she has more skill to her. She is more skilled with a blade and she has Sankets on her side, which will basically make her a 2-in-1 fighter. But I still would give a uh, Shadow of the Edge in this category. See, in Kill a Kill, Ryuko's main fighting style is tired in clothing, because in Kill a Kill, uh, basically the clothes that you wear will enhance your physical strength. Now this could be a good means to get rid of Shadow's speed because Shadow heavily relies on his uh, speed boots, his rocket boots. But with the same logic, she could hit the uh, inhibitor rings which makes Shadow even more powerful than before. So with that logic it could work against her depending on where she aimed first. And plus Shadow is over 50 years old while Ryuko is still a teenager. So in this I would still give it to Shadow. As previously mentioned before, Ryuko does have Senkets, which boosts her physical capabilities to the max, and it gives Ryuko a strong healing factor, along with able to morph Senkets, rather giving her claws or giving her a jetpack for her to fly around in. And she has the two scissor blades, which are used to cut through life fibers, an alien species, that both Ryuko and Senkets are a part of. But Shadow is not a, a one to be messed with when it comes to hacks. Shadow has a lot of hacksy abilities. To start off, is able to stop time, slow down time, able to teleport, able to heal himself with chaos heals, shoot waves of chaos spears, able to create a chaos nuke uh, essentially, and he's also able to turn into super shadow, 
Uh, in Super Shadow, he has unlimited chaos energy, he is immune to all physical damage, and he can fly. So by considering all these factors, I say Shadow would win this fight. Shadow just has a lot more going for him in terms of speed, strength, durability, uh, experience, and overall power. But don't take my word for it. Who do you think would win? Do you agree with me that Shadow would win? Or do you think there's a way where you could go take down Shadow that I missed? Please leave in the comments below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.